Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Champions Invitational is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this third round action. Hi everyone. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, this player's been having a lovely time. The leader, showing all the shots, making the plays. Expecting that to be the case today? Well, that's what you expect him to do. But listen, we're playing golf, and golf is uh, about as predictable as the weather. I mean, unless you got a 50 50 chance of getting it right most days. So this player's got to keep their nose out in front and keep doing what they're doing because if they even remotely slow down and think about what they've accomplished, it's all over. Oh, I'm fired up too, Rich. Let's see how this one plays out. Let's see what kind of Tony sets for himself today. Sometimes you hit some good ones, sometimes you hit some bad ones. Oh, clever play that. Just get it back into the fairway. Getting ready to play their third. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Oh, stop it. What a shot. Well, I hope he makes this one. It's for par. And that's an opening hole par for this player. Nothing wrong with an opening part, just easing their way into this round. He sits in first position. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Going and going and going. A three-time victor already this season. It's a decent fair way to hit this one. Not sure if they'll find it, though. And here we are with the third shot. Yeah, that's a good line. That should find the surface. Ooh, just skin the hole, that one. A wonderful shot and a chance for Purdy here at the second. Luke, nothing gets past you. Yes, this kid is a stud. Gee, talking about bursting out of the gates. Fantastic start right out of the gates. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. That's tidy. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? Yeah, this is straight back into the breeze. Going to be a tough one. What an amazing approach shot. I think their rival, Harold Varner III, has a worthy competitor this week. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Tweet, tweet. This is for two birdies. I like the look of this. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. John, what's going on out there? Hey, guys, we are checking in down here with Justin Rose as he gets set for his next shot here on the 10th. 
I can't believe this. Is this going to go in? And down she goes, the long-range bomb. And let's see what that super shot did to the leaderboard. T is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Second shot here on the fourth. Going with the eight iron here. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Wow, that almost went in the hole. Putting for a par here. Not a bad line, this. Yeah, good job. Nice par. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. John, give us an update. What's shaking? Hey guys, we are checking in here with Brooke Henderson as she gets set for her next shot here on the 12th. Yeah. Well, that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. We have a par three on this one. to have opted for the eight iron. Come on, get down. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. Oh, this would be a big putt to make. The birdie always nice, but particularly when it's a two. It's a bit disappointing. Four feet to the cup. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. This player is putting for fun. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Next up is this par four hole. Well played, mate. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Yep, give yourself a pat on the back. What's in front of them, Henny, with this part? Yeah, he's staring down about 12 feet. Can you hear those tweets? This is what they have left for Birdie here. Beautiful shot. And now that finds him in first place.
Let's see what happens here on the seventh. That's a nice looking tee shot, that one. This one might roll into the rough. Well, Rich, I'm being honest. This lie is putrid. Good look at Birdie here. This is... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You always like that on long putts when you just have to go ahead and tap it in stress-free. Par putt coming up here and maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. This hole is a par three. Looks to be going with the five iron. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Outstanding shot, high quality. Here's a look at Rambo from a moment ago. He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? Nicely done from close range. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This is downhill, can't be too bold. What a putt, started this perfectly. Nice one, fourth booty of the day. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. This hole's a tough two-shotter, a long par four. Coming off a of birdie at the last, looking to add another one. Not a bad line, this one. And now we go to the 16th, where this happened just a moment ago. This is his third. Nailed it. OK, let's get back to the action. And he's down there. Setting up here from about 185 yards. Just needs this one to kick right. But not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. Looking good. Ooh, a couple of birdies on the bounce. Look who's on a roll. Kind of like it. Two in a row. So, Rich... Give us a halftime report. Well, it's been great watching this player get the best of their rival, but still a long way to go until the end of this tournament. Let's see how it shakes out.
Well, let's get stuck into the 10th hole, shall we? That dog will hunt. Getting ready to play their third. Oh, well done. Oh, a nine-foot chance here. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Oh, what a stroke. Oh, well hold. He'll take the birdie. Currently in first position. Teeing off now at the 11th hole. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. from about 130 yards here. And choosing the eight iron here. And here we are with the third shot. How close was that to going down? Beauty of a chip shot there. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. And there it is. Still in the lead now after that hole. Now teeing off on the 12th hole. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the booty range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This one will run uphill. How did that miss? And tapping it in for par. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. Welcome to this hole. That's a par four. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. Absolutely tattooed that one. Gee, there's some energy and action going on all around this property. Wonder what's happened. I tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Risky little bunker shot, but watch this. Oh, John Rahm. There aren't enough describing words in the dictionary to come up with his magnificence. The great Severano Ballesteros inspired an entire generation of European golfers, particularly his own Spanish golfers, and I feel that we might even have the best Spanish golfer of all time in John Ramridge. 
I absolutely agree with that. I, I believe in the game right now, Luke, that if there's one player that all others are fearful of when they get on top of the leaderboard, I think John Rahm's name would be number one because he seemingly has zero weaknesses. I can't find a single one. I look at his game, and it is so complete, you just get envious of it, don't you? Because it is so good everywhere. Off the tee, iron play, the short game, the mentality, the vision, the imagination. He's got every single tool that you could possibly want in this game. He is by far, I believe, the most complete player in our game today. Yeah, it certainly feels like we're in the John Rahm era right now. Ah, that's not the shot he's hoping for. Henny, how's that ball lying? It's tough to see from here. Just trickled off the fairway, but still in good shape. Oh, I didn't see this as possible. What a shot. Oh, tidy looking shot that. Putting for birdie here. Nice stroke. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. You've arrived at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. That was a little untidy, wasn't it? Never easy playing out of those fairway bunkers. Well, this one looks like it's heading to the sand. Uh-oh, uh, looks like you're going to need more bunker practice. Let's see if you can make this. And keep the par on the card. And the punt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. He's currently sitting in first place. Just a few holes to play. Let's see how you handle the 16th hole. Opting for the 9-iron. That's just inside the range. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. That was a gallant attempt. Yeah, that looked to be a bit of a misread. Just three feet to the cup. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. And a par four awaits at this next hole. Well, on the tee now, coming off a par. Chance to pipe one up the middle. Good shot there. It's a fairway finder for sure. This one from about 160 yards out. Uh, great shot. An opportunity for a birdie here.
this is on a stupendous line. Oh, what an excellent time to make a big putt like that. And you bet their rival knows just what happened. And let's have another look at that one. Yeah, let's see this again. Have this one on repeat. That finds him in first place. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Second shot here at the 18th. That's not what he had hoped for, I'm pretty sure of that. And just in the first cut here. Time now for the fourth shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? Great touch. Really nicely played. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. Gets that one to go down and that'll end the day's work.